YouTube friends and family, how's everybody feeling? I hope you're doing very well and feeling well. I watched a video tonight and the title of it was, Do You Feel Safe? My question is, do you feel fear? In watching any of the news outlets, you know, the mainstream media, the alternative news, Anything you pick up, whether it's a newspaper, a video that you want to watch, and there's repeats and repeat and repeat and repeat of the same thing. ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. Or as our president calls it, ISIL. I-S-I-L. We hear that there was a video out where ISIS showed us in graphic detail the beheading of a great reporter. We hear stories about women being buried alive, babies being decapitated, men being slaughtered, beheaded. A very, very terrible group that, in my opinion, I would say are totally insane. The complete opposite of what they are supposed to be according to their own religion. However, the question again I ask is, do you feel fear? I think to say that we absolutely have no fear of this would be a sure sign of apathy. Quite frankly, I feel a little unnerved. Not exactly what I would call fear, but definitely concerned. And I would think that that's what most people feel. You know, in many of my previous videos, I have explained how positive energy and negative energy work. How negative breeds negative and positive breeds positive. I've spoken about the energy of love and loving one another and how that reaches and goes out and never ends and can flow clear around our world and how it can change and touch many people. You know, love doesn't judge. Fear does. Fear can be very bad. Very bad. Because as we fear, rather we're fearing the boogeyman or the monster under the bed, the more we fear it, the bigger it gets. Because negative breeds negative. Am I saying that we should love? Well, in a sense, yes. Yes. We should love. But love the insane that are going around killing innocent people? No. No, I'm sorry. That's certainly not something we should do. But should we stand up rather than to fear? We see our president get on and give a great speech. You know, trying to show that he really sincerely cares. And then before his last breath hits the back of the room, he's out on the golf course. And what's troubling is the change in the name. He has gone from ISIS, as Gabe has pointed out to us in a video that I just shared on Google+. Plus. He's changed it to ISIL, I-S-I-L. I would suggest everybody watches that video. But should we fear in our homes Let's get back on topic. Should we fear in our homes? 
We understand through the administration and different levels of government and different alternative news outlets and mainstream media that they're feeding us this be fearful, be fearful. ISIS is coming to the United States. They're probably already here. They're on our soil. Wow. I want to share something with you in regard to this fear that they are promoting and uh, feeding us. And that's exactly the way I see it. They are feeding it to us. It's something I want you to give serious thought to because I don't think that we should be fearing. I think rather we should be giving this some real good old-fashioned common sense thinking. So I came across something. It was a letter written by a man by the name of Nick Powers. And it's in regard to ISIS. Nick Powers has a message for ISIS. I'm going to read it for you. And then I'll put the link down below so that you can read it yourself. Or open that link up right now and read along with me. Nick writes, As I sit here constantly hearing and watching you execute innocent men, women, and children in the Middle East, I chuckle. Why do I chuckle, you might ask, or you may ask. Well, let me explain something to you, cowardice fools, who think you are so tough behind your propaganda videos. You are scaring a population that doesn't know how to fight. You're bullying the weak. You say Islam is the religion of peace. But since when does terrorizing the innocent and beheading men, women, and children constitute peace? WTF. But keep in mind, what did Saddam, Saddam's troops do when we came rolling into town? They surrendered. Twice. So all your empty threats of coming to America and raising your flag over the White House amuses me more than any of you sick, sadistic bastards could ever imagine or comprehend. In 2012, there was about 21.2 million veterans in the United States. Do you understand what that means? Let me break it down for you. That means there are literally millions of disgruntled, dysfunctional, pissed off veterans who have been dealing with years of abuse from their government, stabbing them in the backs and having to watch their friends die because you Islamic extremi extremist idiots can't seem to act like normal human beings and stop terrorism and the violence. It's one thing to take over an, an Islamic state, but if my memory serves me correctly, I'm pretty sure we plowed through Fallujah in four days. Better yet, it took us about a month to control your entire country. At this point, with 13 plus years of war under our belts, how long do you think it would take us to do it all over again? I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that one. 
Do you really think that you stand a chance on U.S. soil? Do you really think it would be smart to poke that bear? Remember, never bite the hand that feeds you. Remember, we are armed to the teeth in the U.S. And I can promise you this, the Geneva Conventions will not apply to you. You attack us, and there will be no mercy. We will bring the righteous hand of God down upon you and crush you. The ball is in your court now, Isis. We are more than ready to arrange your so-called meeting with your 72 virgins and send you to your prophet, Mohammed. Signed, Nick Powers. Now, friends, why is that important? Why is that letter important? For many reasons, I think. Beginning with the fact that we do have that many, if not more, veterans retired military men that have learned to fight these battles and recognize the enemies it's time to take a stand America we have to start asking ourselves the tough questions why is it that this is basically being condoned and ignored by our government? Why is it that so many American dollars are funding the wrong side? Why is it that so many American people are not reacting as we would expect they would? Well, maybe it's because there's nothing for us to fear but fear itself. It's time to ask the tough questions. It's time to pay attention. And quite frankly, dear friends and family, as I have said in many videos, it is time to pray. It is time to pray like a long string of loose Christmas tree lights in the blackest, most pitch dark room. Can't see a thing, we'll flick on a light, screw one bulb in, and the darkness isn't quite as dark. Screw the next bulb in, and it's not nearly as dark. And then we continue down the line, turning each bulb and letting its light flow. Before long, there's no darkness. So, my dear friends and family, we are the string of lights. Grab hold of each other's hands. Pray with, a, with more energy and more love and passion for what is right and just in our world and pray it with every ounce of belief and love and energy in your body with true conviction that these dark evil people be stopped it's up to us now and Nick's right we have great people in this country. Great people. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love I send out to each and every one of you. You guys, be safe. Love you all.